Yeah, we there with Father Graham Morgan. Who don't know him, who don't know him now, people over the side there. Yeah. This is the great. Thank you for the roles, Marlon. Marlon. Yeah, man, you need to get the album name Positive Vibration. You know, so most of the people in Jamaica don't even have this album. They just know people like you and and you don't know the song with name A Woman Like yeah, You. Yeah, be honest. You don't have that true. I want the melody camera go, um, Thing the Fridays. When him? Boombox. I mean, yeah. I turn up beside ghosts and don't even realize they are ghosts. So, I don't think that we need to change in our industry. All DJs, media people, this is why a lot of the artists and our genre is going through so much. These, I mean, we have this conversation one night with, with Ayakteen and we have a, a local panel that talk about it. Because mm -hmm. this song this song we are here right you now is over 20 yeah. million views and it's not about Jamaica yet. Because them children are not play at Jamaica. You don't know that children? I bet you if you play that tune, you get a woman. And if you have one, you'll get a next one. <laughs> we now go, we now put aside so the song they not play hard, but sometime in the dance them, I have to remember now, within I party them sometime, they just skip past the little punchline and gone. You now yeah. go remember it, to be honest. Yeah. I really just that. I really read, you know, where I sit up because, you know, when we do this upon the radio program more time, we introduce the song to them and we say, listen this. Yeah. You know, and we play it to verse and thing. And, and the, the funny thing about it, Famous, is that this song is playing in so many other countries, in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. in Africa, but it's still one and two stations. Thank you so much, did, Aunt. But the people them find the song themselves. They say, Hear that, Famous, you see? Grams, a beautiful mm. song. I found the song myself. You see, so now yeah. the song is over at what twenty-one million views. May what may I talk about? And a lot of people still haven't heard it yet. Cause you have some people, that, you have some songs that go over a billion views, but the song itself must first have potential. So many don't know the song. Sure, so we have work for do. Are you mad depend on enough females? Question more answer though. What do you think really happened yeah. with the market here? What is the issue with the market out there, sir? Thanks much for I that, think, I think is that there's just an energy where I'm just wanting to let go, let go of them pain, just want to feel joy, just want to feel good. And a part of that is not it's not a therapeutic thing, is that so the music is a really a up tempo thing now. This is the one there. So it's the tempo of where people are real a lot of people are in pain. But people mm -hmm. just want to ignore that pain and just want party. That's where a lot of people is right now. So that's what I think. And it's like an energy. When where there's chaos, there's police for government, for hospitals, where there's death. Where's people going to jail? There's business. Mm -hmm. So adapt, adapt me feel. That's the feeling to really go in our energy of wait I say a meditative vibe like a burning spirit. Not even Bob Marley I played Jamaica like one time. King already. One more rose, guys. Two, two. two. And it's like trust me, it's, it's just where the people's mind mindset is. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I want to set the foundation, you know? yeah. And most of the young youths, them still not know, no. yeah. I think it's and a then big they, say part. they start the music. I think it's a big part of media. Well, that's why I'm coming on TikTok and I'm to kind of reintroduce myself because this is a new platform for many, you know. And mm -hmm. somebody like you, you know, I can see Barry Saman on TikTok, right. But he doesn't need TikTok no. to sell out a, to sell out a venue. By being on TikTok, the music is being introduced to the next generation. Even me, I learned some music from the next generation and some young artists that are so talented. So me give thanks for TikTok. But I think mm -hmm. what you are saying that about the young artists them being the young generation knowing about some of these catalog artists. It's platforms like this and it's people like you. Out here, majority of the real estate them here but whether online or under here them don't mm -hmm. really focus much on young artists and young talent um mm -hmm. uh, may have a show called narcos trending and narcos yeah. trending consists of just playing young artists on thursdays i turn yeah. it into a talent show now 
and yeah. I run it for six weeks where um I have grand prize for them and so forth. So them battle for this, just like the Magnum Kings and Queen, but this happening right. here on the North Coast. That is one of it to see me. I mean, singing yeah. melody, come and give me a big strength because he come perform at it and him, he was the, the final guest judge to see him way. And he yeah. could have taken some of the artists on my side and teach them a one and two to see him way. These things yeah. like these needed in, in the communities, them more, you know. Like every community yeah. should have a talent show searching for, 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 done, for young man. talent. There's work to be done. That's why mm -hmm. I give thanks for, for, for a moment like this to speak with you because I never meet you in person yet. But you are in the no. industry, so we need to know one another and do the work. Everything times two, guys. Everything times two. It. So we need to know one another so we can continue to build this and make these changes within our industry. Because work that have to be done, brother. Like the work we had is a great piece of work. Great piece of work. All right. so Unity, you, Unity is, uh, Unity is uh, the, the weakest point in, uh, in uh, the industry right now. Yeah. Everybody has tried to do it for themselves. Thank you not, for that. Not say it's a bad thing because everyone want to have a, them own. But remember where the tradition, the real root of music coming from. Music is not a one man thing where one man in the studio and just a create. You have different yeah. people for different reasons. You have an engineer over there, so you have the man who have deal with the EQ and all of that. But no, it gone down to just a one computer, headphone, and a speaker, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, and your mic. Thank you, Anita. So the realness of music gone. Yeah, there's work to be done. We give thanks, and that's why we have to use this platform instead of just a cuss and you know doing matches. And we use this platform. Yeah. Like me tell you, people, I'm meeting people from all over the world. Thank you for the heart, me. Um, and I'm meeting some people from Dubai, from Macau, from China, from Korea, and I think it's incredible. So we have to just use this platform yeah. to sell our culture, sell our sports, our athletes, our food, because the Jamaican culture is so rich. And people love it. So I want to inspire all of the TikTokers and uh, when I say content creators, is that the new the new the new uh, mm -hmm. occupation content creator? But it's a great way to, Boy, to they call it, then call it then call it biggest job, you know, most of the people in the TikTok are just uh... Come on guys, five seconds guys. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know more you share just one little thing with the people I'm still what yeah. is one of your greatest experience you have in the music right across the years the, one of my greatest experience yeah there's so many so many let's uh, share one of them like we, you know just one of them we can just well and say Jano I wish we could uh, have that experience. It's a country too. called New Caledonia. And mm -hmm. there we got a call from our booking agent to book a show over there. And we was like, where in the, where in the hell is New Caledonia? And we realized yeah. island culture is global. Jamaica and the Caribbean is not the only islands in the world. Technically, Japan is an island, right? Technically, Australia is an island. Technically, the UK is an island. So when we got this car, we said, where is this? We realized it was an island off of the coast of Australia, a French colonized island by native yeah. people that love reggae music. The population of this country was is 300,000 at the time. And our agent said, they love you guys have a song that's big over there. It was a song for me, look at bread of them. It wasn't even a Morgan Heritage song, but at the time, Morgan Heritage and LMS were touring. And it was a mm -hmm. song called Respect All of the Woman Them. And we realized when we was taking the flight, them said, no, no, can't come anymore because there's f like 4,000 people outside at the airport. We said, what? So why go on? And they, they, them time we start realize the power of reggae music. Mm -hmm. And they make a come in the next morning because people down at them bed. When we realize the man sold over 33,000 tickets. 33,000 tickets. So that show you said that's more than 10% of the population, correct? Pop yeah. The population is <laughs> like 300,000. And we sell 33,000. That's. Yeah. And I will leave. I will leave. Reggae music. And Andrew Tash was also on that show. And that was, I think, in the year 2002 or one. And so it was a, that experience for me was, make me understand, say, 
we may need to cherish our music, cherish the music, yeah. cherish our culture, and don't underestimate the power of reggae music because so many people are influenced by this genre and take from this genre. And that's why what they upon Drink Champs, Buju kind of had to make it known. Say so a lot of people that borrow from the culture and say they and are influenced when they make it big, them don't come back and say, Boy, I was influenced. They make it seem like it's a different thing. And these things mm-hmm. will stand up for our culture and stand up for our music because it's nothing wrong with we are in. I, I don't hold back the fact that I was influenced by gospel music, I was influenced by a lot of reggae artists before me. I was influenced by hip hop, R&B, gospel music. We don't hold back these facts, but other genres that are influenced by a B by... or a Bujo, them don't come out and say, because if they did, and they did that, it would probably help and enhance and make people want to research more about the music and say, man, you, reggae? I'm not, I've never heard of reggae or dance hall mm-hmm. or trap dance hall. Let me check it out. And that's what it would do. And if you notice, a lot of the dancehall artists them don't collaborate as much as the hip hop artists, especially the top. You find a, a Rick Ross a collaborate with a Little Wayne and a Kelly that collaborate. With yeah, a, yeah. Um, with a, um, a T Pain or a Jay Z, we don't do that enough, especially the top guys. Then, so that's true. There's work to be done, my blood. <laughs> All right, so you know a TikTok thing go play too much. I jump off and thing, but. Um, yes, you can just tell the people um, what next show you have and you know what coming up in the, for you right now at showtime. Take it out, Mr. Famous. We have a show coming up in Dominica alongside um, Stephen Marley, Damian Marley. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is a Gram Smagan show because people know I do both. Um, and Dwayne Stevens is also on that show. I'm bringing him as a friend in my show. And Luciano will also be in my set. Um, all right it's going to be a great great show as well i'll be doing a television special representing jamaica that will be on national tv here in the united states um the guy that mm-hmm. will tennessee whiskey and the guy named dean dylan tennessee whiskey by uh chris stapleton he wrote that song and they called me to represent reggae and jamaica so i'll be the first um jamaican artist to perform in this arena in huntsville alabama so i'm gonna pray for me and I will be waving the flag high. I make them know say Jamaica straight and we love country music. We well, look forward for this in the bus. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me oh, give man. you a follow so we can tune in more and check you out. Is it? Absolutely, family. Respect, man. Big up.